quarter. What's today? What's today? Where are you going today? <gasps> preschool! Today is Porter's first day of preschool. Are you so excited? <gasps> oh, what are you going to do at preschool? You could go to preschool today? Yeah. Oh boy, we gotta pick out your special outfit. Mom, what's the sign Oh, what is that? Is this a pumpkin? Is it a pumpkin trick or treat bag? Yeah. Ooh. We're going on Halloween night. Halloween night. Yeah, we got out all our fall decorations yesterday, didn't we? Ooh. That was so fun. Oh, yeah. So fun. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to go inside? Yeah. I love you. You uh, have so much fun, Kate. Ready? This is Dabalero. This is Blacker, and they're waiting for you. Avery, what do you think? Is it so quiet here? See, I'm the only one here. Both my brothers are gone. So I'm back from taking Porter to preschool. If you didn't catch from my previous clips, today was Porter's first day of preschool. I'm so excited to hear how the day went. Hopefully he's not like Grayson, and when I ask him a million questions, he says nothing. Although, knowing Porter, he probably will be that way. I swear it's just like a boy thing. My only hope is Avery, when she goes to school, hopefully she'll be more chatty. Although, she's a pretty quiet baby, so hopefully she gets more chatty. I was a little worried how drop-off was going to do because at the preschool, they have the parents just walk the kids up to the front door and then the parents stop and the kid goes in by themselves. Totally makes sense. Try to get some independence. Try to separate the kids from the parents. Usually it goes well. We did see a couple kids like clinging on to mom, didn't want to go. The director of the preschool had to kind of like pick them up and carry them into the school, which happens every year. I was worried that was going to be Porter. I thought he wasn't going to let my hand go, but I think it's helped so much that he saw Grayson go into preschool day after day after day that he was just like, yep, this is how it is and this is what I do. So I took him to the front door, as you saw in that clip, let go of his hand and he just walked right in. And they all wear names tags so they, all the teachers can show them like exactly where to go it was cool like there's a new director this year but the old director was there helping out which was super nice um and we've known her for the past three years now so i think he's doing well they say no news is good news and i haven't heard anything hopefully he hasn't peed himself that's kind of like my biggest fear um i guess i never really updated you guys on porter's potty training he was just like peeing himself for months and then we went on the cruise and then my brother or Anthony, I don't remember who it was, somebody taught him how to pee standing up because that's what boys do. Um, I kind of tried to hold off on that as long as I could just to try to save my toilets from being like pee all over them. And it's like as soon as he learned like, oh, I can just come in, whip it out, pee, and leave, um, it just clicked. And ever since we got back from the cruise, he hasn't been peeing himself. And he's been going to the potty on his own and making it and pooping on the potty, and he's been great. So for the past um, maybe two or three weeks, I haven't had a pull-up on him, at, even at nap in bed. He just goes in the potty. So literally like last second he just clicked now he does um have accidents here and there if we're out at the park they're boys so i tell him just tell me and we'll go pee on a tree but he doesn't think about that and he just pees himself or if he gets really upset he might pee himself but other than that he does really good so i'm a little worried because i showed him where the bathroom was when we went to the preschool open house but when he's in new places, I don't know, I hope he knows to tell them that he has to pee and doesn't just pee himself. They do have all the parents pack an extra pair of clothes in case accidents happen, because I'm sure they get it a lot. So I'm hoping to see him in his original outfit, but he has a, if he has a new outfit on, then that's okay, we'll just work on it. 
but yeah so the house is super quiet um Avery and I went and got groceries um I forget how fast preschool is like I feel like I just dropped him off and now I have to leave like in a couple minutes to go pick him up but it's okay um and it stinks that I have to drive there and back although it was only five minutes away which is really nice but I get spoiled with Grayson's kindergarten because the bus takes him and drops him off but I'm super excited to hear how his day was hopefully he loves it because he's going back on Thursday <laughs> and he was just so excited to just be like his older brother he wants to be just like Grayson he said he was gonna go find the tractors and play with the tractors he is probably the youngest in his class I think I've said that before he's still two this is a three-year-old classroom but the cutoff is September 30th and his birthday is September 14th so he's probably the youngest one in his classroom there was another girl in his class that had a birthday like end of August so he's not like the like on his own the youngest but he's probably like the youngest but that's okay we're gonna put him in three years of preschool and I've been getting stuff ready for his birthday party that is on Sunday so just a couple days from now we are doing a candy themed birthday party so I already got the cake ordered from Meyer, got his presents I need to wrap them and then I went to the store and I just bought a ton of candy Anthony's gonna kill me because he hates when I buy candy but you can't have a candy themed birthday party without candy so I'm just gonna put out like a ton of candy we're getting pizza because Porter wants pizza cake I got some like funfetti cookies because they got sprinkles on them and I have sprinkles on his cake so they'll match so I'm really excited I think it's gonna be a really fun party although I always stress about it because I have to clean my whole house declutter everything because we have things everywhere and it's just a lot but it's okay it's worth it he's gonna love it he's so excited for his birthday because he's seeing Grayson have his birthday so it'll be good it's just I don't like the stress going up to it but I'll feel really good once it's over <laughs> Okay, I got both my boys home. Grayson's home from kindergarten. And Porter is home from preschool. They gave him this cute little hat that he wore. I'll and put a picture of him. First day of preschool. It's so stinking cute. I love it. He wasn't too crazy about the hat. Porter! Did you have a good day at preschool? He said he played with all the tractor toys and he played outside and he colored a little picture. He colored this picture of a turtle, which he's in the turtle class, so how fitting. And then Grayson brought this home. He got a 20 out of 20 because he colored all the words the right color. And Grayson said he got to watch a video today about whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable. And what is it, Gray? Both. It's both. I didn't even know that. I thought tomatoes were vegetables. So both boys did good. Um, Porter, I was mostly stressed about him um, peeing himself and he did not. He's in the same clothes I put him into preschool in, so that was like the biggest win for me. His teacher, when I picked him up, said he did really, really well. So again, no news is good news and sounds like he did good. So um, he said he played with some kids. He said one of them was named Margot, which is a cool name. And yeah, that was kind of it. So now they're both home. I'm about to put Porter down for nap. I just put Avery down to nap. And then this afternoon we need to do some baking. We gotta make some muffins and we have some bad bananas. We get to make more banana bread, which as you know, is my favorite. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I waited until Labor Day. And then as soon as Labor Day hit, which was yesterday, I put up all the fall decorations, which we don't really have that much, but I'll show you. So I put little pumpkins up here and then I have a little leaf banner here. I took down the pack and play, which used to be in this corner. We have like this Hello Autumn, although the bouncer is in front of it. A little scarecrow, like this ghost. And then at the front of my house, um, I have like a pumpkin and then a little mat that says like, welcome to our patch. So not too much, but little things here and there. Got out the boys um, trick or treat bags with their names on it, which I need to get Avery one, but she's not really gonna go this year. So I guess I could wait a year. Trying to get this fall theme going, even though it's supposed to be 91 today outside. It is so hot. So I don't really think we're gonna go be going outside, which is a good day to bake. Um, but I am so ready for the cooler weather. They're running to the chicken dance song. Go, go, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They love running in circles to the chicken dance song. Whee, this is so fun. Yay. This is my life with the boys just running circles around me. It's a very on-spot depiction of my life. 
Pretty soon there's going to be three of them running around there as soon as Avery figures that one out. But uh, yeah, so I'll pick up the camera as we do some baking maybe. Um, not really much on our plate anymore. And Porter will go back to preschool on Thursday. Also on Thursday we have um, an appointment for Avery with her head. We're going to go in and get measurements of her head so that they can create the helmet so they can reshape her head. So we have that on Thursday. So I will um, do videos of that when that happens. And then she should get her helmet um, next Friday and then wear it, start wearing that. And I think they said nine to 10 weeks of wearing the helmet. So I will document all that journey, but that's coming up. Hi, Avery. Hi. Well, are you gonna fall over? Oh, I'm trying to entice her with this bunny. Oh, 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 <laughs> yay, good job, did you roll over, she's like, mom, why is dad, you like your bunny, <laughs> I gotta roll you back, there you are, look how strong you go, look, there's your bunny, Are you gonna fall over again? Hi! Don't fall! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Avery!